Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, we have a fun journaling haul, so stick around. As you've probably noticed, I've gotten really into note-taking fountain pen activities lately, and I don't just use my fountain pens for art. I really love journaling and planning with them. So I'm just gonna take you through all this fun stuff that I've gotten recently. There are a couple more things and I've inserted that video here too. I went to a bunch of different places for this stuff and I just wanted to share. So first things first, a sort of easy thing. I went to Michael's, I got a gift card for Christmas and I got these really, really cute washi tapes. So hopefully you can see how stinking cute these little animals are. Oh my gosh, okay, let me just take this off, hold on. Okay, I got those caps off. This one, you could see all of them pretty well. They're just these really fun, I love that like sage green one, but this one was covered by this a little bit. So those are all the ones in here. I've loved this grid look that I've seen on a ton of channels. This is just washi tape to decorate pages. And then this one, OMG. This was so up my alley, I could not stand it. I love this little fox one. Oh, hold on. It doesn't want to focus. So cute. I love the raccoons and the foxes and the bunnies. It's so me. And then obviously owls. Hello. Owls, squirrels, florals, like botanical look. Ugh, loved that one. This adorable orange pattern and it's a nice thickness. I like that for my paintings. I'll probably use that to tape off my paintings. In fact, I'll leave it right there. Um, this super thin one, which I actually like to do for calligraphy, sometimes you'll put this through and then write the letters over it, and then when you pull this off, you write it in another font down the middle. Super fun with those thin ones. A really pretty, another floral that I'll use for taping paintings. An adorable little <laughs> acorn one, and then another foxy one with my favorite, so one of my favorite greens in the background. So I couldn't stand this set. It was so me. It was so, it was like it was made for me. Like I've just never seen anything so stinking cute in my life. Okay, so those are the washi tapes. Then also for planning, I got this Happy Planner sticker book on sale. So I don't know if you've heard of Happy Planner, but you know, when you decorate your journals, sometimes you want to decorate with stickers. And this just, I just did a flip through. I'll show you what I saw. I was just like, okay, um, yeah, absolutely. So these are so up my alley with the colors, with the theme. It was just so cute, and I love that they have this to hold it together. And it just shows you a little preview of all the stickers. It's a ton of stickers to decorate my planners. And then let's get down to that part. I'm actually going to take the plastic off of these before we get into them, because that really annoys me. Hold on. I got both of these from Amazon. So I got the washi tape and the happy planner from Michaels, used a coupon. These two are from Amazon. So this is a panda planner and it's huge guys. Like, okay, I don't know how to explain this. Oh, here's my iPad, okay, full size iPad. And this is the planner, so it's huge. I thought it was a B5. It's definitely bigger than a B5 because this is a Stalogy 365 notebook. And this one is a B5, a true B5. So that's the difference. And then here's my usual A5 plus dingbats. So A5, B5, I don't even know. Giant, ginormous, love it. So this Stalogy book is B5. There are the dimensions and it is called a 365 days notebook. And the reason it is called that is because at the very, look at this page. So it just looks like a regular old graph paper page with a very fine, almost completely translucent graph. And it is very, very thin paper made for really working well with fountain pens letting the ink sort of shine, which is why I was attracted to it. I love anything that's gonna make my fountain pens shine. But if you zoom in way close, you can see every month, every day, like weekday name and every number of that could possibly be in a month. And the idea is this is an undated planner. You can get it any time of year, stick it in your leather or whatever vegan journal cover. And then when you turn to a day, you just circle the day and you don't, it doesn't matter if you got this, like right now that I'm filming, filming this, it is late February, and it wouldn't be like you're buying a dated calendar where you just missed out on two months. 
So I think this is super cool, but I really didn't get this to be a planner. I didn't think I would enjoy <laughs> just this. I wanted, I'm like a big date girl. I want a big square. I can write a bunch of stuff in. So I got this more just as a journal and I plan to just sort of ignore <laughs> those dates. Um, instead, I'm going to use this Panda Planner. I've had a Panda Planner before, although it was an A5 size. It was really tiny. This one is for my desk. And I didn't, I wanted it to be big. Oh, okay, so it comes with a discount. Ooh, two discounts. Fabulous. And this is just the sleeve. So it's just a big plain cover with a little panda, like, engraved, basically. <laughs> it does come with three different ribbons. And if my memory serves, that's because you'll put a ribbon on your year, a ribbon on your day, and a ribbon on your week, or maybe a ribbon on your month, day, week. So I really liked it. It has a lot of, like here's the how to use. I'll just pause it there. You can just pause and read that. But it is really fun. I've used it before. It'll have like this big month one. And you can put goals and insights and distractions to avoid and all that stuff. So all the months are in the front. So that's your first, you know, ribbon right there. And again, undated planner. So it has the structure for you, which the Stalogy does not. Pardon my light. It's like really weird. Uh, oh, that didn't help. Hold on. Okay, well, <laughs> it's probably as good as it's going to get today. Uh, you put in, you like just write the month. So like February, you write in the days, like one, two, three, whatever day it is. And then you're good to go. You have your focus for the month, your habit you're working on. And I like that I just don't have to write the whole stinking grid like I do when I have a regular like a true bullet journal with just dot paper and then this section is I believe is this day or week okay cool so here's the week this is what that looks like okay so this is the whole week on one spread but this is what it has so it has your gratefulness journaling, which I do want to journal gratefulness. This already has it. It has things to be excited about. I love starting the day happy. And that's what that really helps with your priorities to keep you focused. So what, what will you feel like you did what you were supposed to do if you write them here and you did them at the end of the day, then you have your typical schedule like you would want in any journal or other. And then you've got your three wins, which I'm assuming will hopefully <laughs> coordinate with these and how you can improve. So you end the day thinking about how can I be even better tomorrow? And then there's a note section, uh, weekly tasks that you can, so this is open at all week, so you can be keeping an eye on this the whole spread. And then challenges you're focusing on, week, weekly focus all the way, your daily habit. And again, it's undated. So you just write in the day at the top and you're good to go. So here's the weeks and then do do do. So this is one thing I really loved. This is your like week in review. So at the beginning of the week, it gives you this page and then you do your week and you check back in. And same thing for the next week. So you have your big wins for the whole week, how you want to improve next week, um, things I will do to make this week great. You do this in the beginning. And look at this. I love it. It has personal focus, work focus, family and friends focus, relationship focus. So healthy. I'm looking forward to habits I'm focusing on developing, learn something new, passion project. And then you have room for four big projects, top goals for the week. You might not necessarily use all these for exactly what they say. Like some people might have a separate habit tracker or like a reading tracker with pages read and things like that. But I just found this structure so good for my personal approach. So let's do it in order. <laughs> the first one goes here. The second one goes here. The third one will go here. And I'm ready to set up my panda planner. It does have a folder in the back with like the black lining, which I think is really cool that it matches the cover, and a black elastic. I will say this is a soft cover. It's not a hard cover. It's like a semi-hard cover, but it's it's soft. It's not as soft as the Stalogy, where it's like literally just flopping. This is a flopper. Like there's nothing firm about this. Um, this one is more firm than that and thicker, but it's still got flop, which I like because when I start putting stickers and stuff in here and washi tape, it's going to get thick with two C's. So I love this. I'm super excited about these. I'm excited to have a journal that will look good with fountain pens. Hopefully I got this recommended on the r slash fountain pen forum on Reddit. 
So hopefully they seem to know what they're talking about. So I'm excited about that. So we've got a bunch of goodies out of the way. Okay, the big stuff. Let's focus in for a close up on these babies. Okay, the first thing here is this little bottle of Edelstein, it's Pelican Edelstein ink. And this one is the Golden Barrel. See that? This is a gold, like super gold ink. This is the most gold of golds I've ever golded. It's like the goldenest gold of golds. I love it so, so, so much. I got a sample for myself after seeing Stephanie Davis rave about it. And honestly, so many different fountain pen enthusiasts rave about this ink. I was like, I'm going to paint with this bad boy. It is like gold in a bottle. So amazing. But it costs... I think like almost $40 a bottle for this because it was a special edition. It's not like they sell it easily anymore. Um, it, it's a hard one to find. And if you find it, it's usually pretty expensive if you think about it with shipping. So what I did is I went on r slash pen swap, which is another kind of a fountain pen enthusiast board on Reddit and found, I searched golden barrel and I found a slightly used bottle. So when I do this, you can see that it was used. See, it's like, a quarter of the way used and I actually did already fill a pen with this so it, it was even more full when I got it for $20 so I got it for half price and it was slightly used and it's perfect and it was from a human and obviously it's shop at your own risk but I was very comfortable and I'm super thrilled that I got this because now I have a golden barrel and my theory is I'll just get samples and I will refill this with samples <laughs> so that's my plan so there's another bad boy now these two are a big deal guys these are a big deal these were like a huge investment <laughs> my business I do have a day job this is just for fun YouTube is just because I love you guys and we have so much fun together and it's nice to have friends who are into what you're into which you might not have in your normal like a regular life and it's just really fun to find your people and that's why I do this channel obviously I don't make any money from this channel or like barely any. I think I made like $16 last month from Amazon affiliates. I get a little $16 gift card when you guys use my links in the descriptions of my videos to do your Amazon shopping. Like if you start your shopping by cl clicking on one of those links, then anything you buy, I get a very small, like I think 3% or something commission from, and it doesn't cost you anything different. It's the same, like just Amazon has to share its profit with me a little bit. So that's a free way for you to support the channel, but it's not like that is a huge amount of money. <laughs> so obviously it's really cool because it obviously immediately put it back into things like these notebooks that we just went over. Um, but my real life job is different. And that one, I run my own business and it's been going really well. And so as sort of a huge celebratory present to me. I got these two super fancy pens that I've had my eye on for a long time that have been on my eBay watch list and I got them and they're amazing. They're literally everything that I thought they would be, wanted them to be, so excited. So the first one, really the game changer, like the changed my life game changer pen, is this Sailor X Wonker or Wonsher. Um, it is, I believe a Japanese store, like a stationery store in Japan. And Sailor is a Japanese pen company. So another reason I'm pretty confident this is a Japanese stationery store. Um, and they did this in beautiful, just totally gorgeous. They did this totally beautiful um, pen. And it comes in a few different colors. One is a teal, sort of like this, a little bit more blue than this green here. And one was a hot pink. So it was hard to pick, but I've just been so into purples. And this is what it looks like guys. I can't. I literally can't. I've already used it. I did not wait. I did not wait for this <laughs> to use it. It is so pretty. Oh, I don't know if you can see the sparkles, but there's a white end cap and the finial has the sparkles too. It's purple with the sparkles. The body has the purple sparkles and it's a demonstrator. And the reason this is a game changer, life changer is this nib. This is a zoom nib. Look how much tipping material is on this baby. It writes like a marker, like a full Posca. <laughs> so I would say. So I love this color blocking thing that Sailor does. Some people like the body and the section and the end cap and the cap to all match. I'm I like that too, but this is my favorite, the color blocking. So I loved the color blocking. I loved the gold accents. I loved the purple body with this like sparkly do you see the sparkles like some of the sparkles are teal just gorgeous and I just loved everything about it and then it was a zoom nib and I knew I needed 
a Zoom nib in my life because I have the medium or got the medium fine and we did that unboxing together and frankly it was just too much like a pencil for me. It was too thin. So now I have this and I'm completely obsessed and feel very like bone deep. Very bone deep satisfied. So I love this thing. Absolutely obsessed. And I will do a writing sample for you with the golden barrel because this is the pen that I filled with that gorgeous fancy ink. The other pen that I got is this. I don't know if you've heard of this brand, but this is Le Bon. I had not heard of this brand until I saw a Karina Loves to Plan. She's actually become one of my favorite planning channels here, and she's obsessed with this pen, and I was obsessed with how pretty it is. I love the box. I just think it's really pretty. I love this pen so much. Ugh. It is so pretty. It's called the Le Bon Rosa Lilac. And I get that it has these like super shiny lilac sort of accents and this really pretty olivey green. That's one of my favorite greens. It has the gold accents I love on a pen. It has this pointy fun and uh, finial and the same pointy end on the end cap. And this is the real, this is the stunner. This nib is a broad nib, but this is like a legit, the, one of the flowiest pens I've ever had. It is so juicy. Ink is just like falling out of this pen and onto the paper. And that's what I like. I like to see the ink moving. Both of these pens, I didn't show you on the Sailor, but both of these pens post beautifully. I know that there's a fear on the Sailor that if you post it, um, eventually it can like degrade the, the threads on the inside of the cap when you put the cap up here could degrade the finish here. But I'm just really careful when I post it and I don't like spin it around or anything. And it's been beautiful. Both are um, cartridge filled and I found a beautiful ink to match this one. So when I give you the writing sample for this one, you'll see why it is this so gorgeous. So let's do the writing samples right now. Okay, I'm just going to do these writing samples really quickly just to show you what these nibs look like and what this beautiful golden barrel ink looks like. And then we're on to like a whole other second unboxing <laughs> after this. So hold on. Um, and I will put in probably chapters for this video because there are so many different things for a variety of interests. But I hope you're seeing how ginormous the line is that this Sailor Zoom nib puts down, it makes me so happy I don't even have words. On top of that, this gold color is super legible and it's definitely even more legible because of the size of the nib. So I'm just loving this combo. I think it's beautiful. I don't think that the shimmer is coming across on my video for some reason, but just know there's shimmer there. I'm hoping you can see it. I also love that it shades. It's got like orange in there and the deeper gold and lighter yellow. It's a, just a beautiful ink. I'm very happy that I got it. Now for the Laban, I paired this beautiful broad nib with Colorverse Rocky Blue. It was a gift to me last year from my wonderful sweet mother-in-law. And I just think this blue, it's like a blurpley blue, it's like a blurple, a purpley blue, is the perfect match for the lilac parts of this Laban Rosa lilac. So let me know what you think if you agree that that's a good match, but I'm loving this pair together. I wasn't sure if these would make it in in time for this unboxing, but they did. And they came all the way from Australia. So I don't know if you've heard of this brand, but this is Van Diemen's Ink. See that little Tasmanian devil? So stinking cute. And I saw one of these inks. I believe it was this one. <laughs> Toilet Mist. One of these is the Snowy Mountain Sunset. So this one is Snowy Mountain Sunset. This one sucked me in. Then I signed up for their mailing list, waited until I got a 30% off coupon to cover shipping, even though it's under the amount for free shipping usually, and got my free shipping from Australia for a bunch of beautiful inks. And I'm trying Van Diemen's ink for the first time. So I'm going to give you a close up, but let's do the unboxing first. So this is from their night series. This one's called Twilight Mist. These boxes are so pretty. This is, I believe, a husband and wife team. It's definitely a small company. This is what the bottle looks like. Ooh, look at that pretty purple shimmer. Can you see that? <gasps> Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, so that's pretty. That's going to be gorgeous. Into this, hello, perfection. Okay, very excited about this one. And I'm going to use this to test my beautiful cotton candy abalone 
pen from the Zodiac Pen Company. Beautiful 1.5 stub nib. So we will try this one. This was the baby that sucked me in, so we're definitely trying this one. <gasps> Look at that rose gold shimmer with the baby blue ink. You know I'm a sucker for rose gold shimmer in a blue ink because I got, got the Deatramentis Indian Copper Blue, but it clogs my pens. And this one's supposed to be better in an actual pen, not just for painting. Such a cute little Tasmanian devil on the cover. Ah, so cute. Okay, keeping these boxes, that's for sure. That's for sure. This is another one from the night series. This one's called Moonlit Lake. I was, oh my gosh, okay. I don't know if this is translating. Could this possibly be translating how stunning this green blue peacock feather shimmer is? Like what is how, okay, I'm very excited because these are actually better than I was expecting so far just from looking in the bottle. Very excited for this one. This is the last one I ordered. It's called Devil's Kitchen. And it is just a plain teal. I will test it out. And then they sent me this little, and I say little, but look how sinking full. This is very full. I don't even know if it's going to show how full it is. It's, it's up to here. That's an extremely full sample. And this is a sample of the Laughing Kookaburra Crest. Laughing Kookaburra Crest. It looks like a really cool, like a mauve -y, I don't know, like a purpley, reddish, rusty, dusty, reddish purple. I don't know. That'll be fun. I didn't know they were going to send me a sample, but I'm here for it. I'm going to use my beautiful new Stalogy notebook for the swatching. And let's see what, how, just how gorgeous this is. I'll bring you in close. <gasps> Whoa, that's full. That is so full. Okay, that's dangerous. They've clearly never met me. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Zero justice. Zero justice is being done. That's a darn shame. Okay, let's see about a writing sample. Holy smokes. Okay. Is there any chance this is coming across? Let's see. Is there even a 2% chance this is coming across as beautiful? OMG. Nope. There's no chance. Do you see this blue? There's like this ridge of just a gorgeous, gorgeous. It, oh, there's a gorgeous blue here. It looks like a pink ink with blue sheen almost. I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm already very, very, very happy with this color. It is legible. In person, it's very legible. This is kind of a cream paper, but that is 100% one of the most beautiful inks I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. I would definitely get more inks from them. I'm already obsessed. So I'm very glad because this is the one that I bought it for. Pardon my awful camera work. Okay, so we're done with this guy. <laughs> oh. oh, you're not even on frame. I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. So pretty. Oh. Okay. You can live there. Let's dip you. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Okay, this might be a little much. That's okay. Which one is this? Twilight Mist. Okay. Oh. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Sorry. Oh. Why? Why is it so pretty? Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't think this is 
going to come across. I don't think that this camera is capable of doing this ink justice. Here's what I'm seeing in person. Let's see if I can describe for you what I'm seeing in person. It's so before it's even dry. There is like a blue, a vibrant blue halo around the words. So it's clearly a purple ink. It is a very legible purple ink. It is clearly a purple purple ink. Sometimes my purple inks look more blue or black even. Or sometimes they look just look hot pink. This is like a true purple. I don't, this is a true purple. All that blue chromatography is coming across in the big swatch. It's in this little writing sample. <laughs> my knuckle looked really bad from that angle. My apologies. It's it's just looking absolutely beautiful. So this is two for two. This is two for two right now. I'm very excited. Van Diemen's, why are you in Australia? Because I'm not a fan of having to order these and wait three weeks to get them, but apparently they're worth it. So thanks, I guess. <laughs> I do love them. I'm excited for this one. I think this is so pretty. Moonlit Lake, y'all. This one is very exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay. Really? <sighs> you didn't have to come that hard, Van Diemen's. I don't know if you had to go quite this hard on the teal because it's too much. It's too beautiful. This is so up my alley, I don't even have words. This is like the most me color. This is probably the same color that Devil's Kitchen is going to be. But I got it in shimmer and not shimmer. Oh my god. This is, I'm so annoyed how these colors are not showing up on the camera. I cannot tell you how annoyed I am that you have zero idea. This purple is a shimmery dream. Like this teal is one of the most vibrant. I've never seen such a purple. You know what this reminds me of? My favorite KWZ menthol green but a little bit, like, I don't know, different, like more complex. Menthol green is very, it, it just is what it is. It's one color. I love what it does. I love that it shades. I love that it has a halo of the same color. It is very vibrant, obsessed. This has different colors within the color and it's not even dry yet and I don't know what to do and I haven't even written with it and I'm already in love. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like very, 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 very excited about these. Oh my God. Oh, thank you guys for letting me just love my inks with you. I'm so happy right now. I can't even tell you that I'm with my buds. Oh, oh. why? Moon. Is it? Moon. Lit. Lake. You are stunning. O M to the G. Oh, to the M to the G. Cannot. Why? Why? I will tell you this. When I spend my money and wait for a week and a half to two weeks, I can't even remember at this point, for an ink to arrive on my doorstep from Australia to America, this is what I'm wanting. I'm getting what I want. This is what I want. I'm, I'm living for this. I cannot with it. This color is redonkulous. Are you getting that? Are you seeing this? I'm like angry happy. Do you get angry happy? <laughs> I'm angry that I didn't have this already. That I didn't already have this for like a year at, to play with. And what pen is this going to live in? How am I going to write with anything else? Then these, okay, I have so many pretty inks and now all I want to do, you're seeing that now, right? You're getting it. You're understanding what I'm talking about. Okay, I thank you. Just wanted to make sure. I should probably mention all of these are this full. It's like a noodler's type of super full. They don't mess around. These are 30 mil containers. Here is the Devil's Kitchen. I was right. This is like a menthol green without the shimmer. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's see what it looks like in a pen. I'm not regretting it at all. I was like, oh, maybe I'll regret having another green. That's like a lot of greens that I have because I love, nope, I'm super happy. Van, why do I love you so?
I hope you guys are as happy as I am to just be looking at pretty beautiful inks. They're so pretty. These are different enough. I know that the, it's probably the same base color, but something is happening over there, especially with the green shimmer. And this is much more shading than this, if you can see that. This is a shading queen. Okay. Not a single one of these is leaving my side. I am completely in love. I don't know what to do. I'm literally beside myself. I don't know what to do. I'm so excited. I've never had just like win after win after win after win after win after win. This is crazy. Maybe I'm just getting to know what I like more. Here's the one that they gave me for free. That's pretty how that moves. What does this remind me of? What does this remind me of? It's like, it's not Wine Divine. There's almost a, um, oh, maybe that Moonstone, Monteverde Moonstone. It's a little bit like that. And I'm going to forget what this one is called. But this was a free sample they sent me without request. Never seen this color i know they have a birds of a birds of a feather line that this is from because i have a whole list of ones that i want from that from oh gosh what's the name of that channel i'm gonna put it on the screen but it's like scribbles something and it's one of my more favored swatching fountain pen swatching channels fountain pen ink swatchers uh then Now, this is a hard one. Laughing Kookaburra, two O's, two R's. Crest. Well, that's like grest, but I was trying to say crest. <laughs> Forgive me. This is a very pretty shading brown ink. This reminds me of that ink that I was trying to get like Swan Illusion, Mont Blanc Swan Illusion, if we're being fancy, which I'm definitely being fancy with these inks. Mont Blanc Swan Illusion. Ooh, we're very fancy. Let's make this one fancy. I'm so fancy. Wow, that is pretty. Look at that shading. Super shader, super relaxing. This ink is like a spa day. This ink is giving spa vibes. Okay. Let's give you a, another rundown. So this was the free sample, and it was like a hella full sample. Heck a full sample. We have a gorgeous KWZ Menthol Mint style shading. Just one of the prettiest teals I've ever seen. I love teal. I might have to sell or give away some of my other teals because I really don't want to use any other teals than this and the KWZ menthol green. <laughs> and they are different enough, especially in the pooled area. They're different enough that I'm glad I have both. And this one is also darker. This one is more, um, I don't know what, honestly, it's not reminding me of anything other than a pea. It's like peacock in a bottle. And they actually have a peacock ink. This is Peacock in a Bottle to me, and you can really see what I'm seeing there and a little bit there. But I'm seeing that even in the writing, guys. Like, why is it so pretty? Why? The purple, I can't. Nope. Can't even deal with it. Too beautiful. You're definitely seeing it there. I can tell that it's coming across. And it is gorgeous in the writing. What I will tell you is I waited a long time to actually... I waited a long time to actually do the writing sample with this one, so the shimmer isn't showing up as much in the writing. That's on me, because you actually do have to... I think that's this one. Yeah, that's this one. It pools in the bottom, so you got to like keep agitating it if you want to get that shimmer going, which you do based on that. And then here's my baby, my baby girl. My little baby precious girl, which is the reason that I got this. And I'm obsessed. And I know this is in a stub nib, but I actually can't wait to get this in a broad nib. I'm getting, oh, oh, you know what? I'm, okay, I just had the best idea. I'm getting the, oh, look at that. Okay, I'll just let you look at this for a second. I have, the last thing that I have coming that didn't come yet, and I wanted to film this video anyway, <laughs> is because I did not want to wait for this, gorgeous this, was a Twisby Mini White and Rose Gold fountain pen with a broad nib. 
and it's a super popular fountain pen. I've had a ton of Twisbees at this point. I actually just sold one. Um, and I'm going to dedicate that one to that nib because Twisby nibs are super broad and juicy and flowy. And that's going to be gorgeous. And I bet this is going to have to go move into that new sailor, that sparkly purple rain sailor. It's like made for that. That's perfect. And I bet it'll be competing with this one because it'll look really pretty in this one too. Hold on. Let's see if it'll focus. Oh, I know I already did a whole video on this and a reel and like posts, but I'm obsessed with this cotton candy. Abalone beautiful pen. I'm not over it. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and had fun with me. This is just what I'm like in my studio when I'm alone. In fact, I am alone, but in my head, I'm not because we're together. Um, until next time, please remember, create something cute.